Grasha's Dream by Melissa Fagan, Colleen de Villiers, and Marika Larue. Grasha was about to be born in a small village in Mozambique. The country was poor and the people did not yet rule themselves. Children didn't have good schools and many couldn't read. Grasha's mother dreamed of giving her children better opportunities, but without education, there was little hope. Baby Grasha would be the sixth child, but with this joyous event, there was great sadness. The beloved father was dying. He dreamed that his youngest daughter would go to a good school. He knew that education would give her opportunities he had never had. His family promised to make their dad's dream come true. Just weeks after their dad died, the new baby was born. She was given a name to match the beauty and blessing that she was, Grasha. As the years passed, Grasha brought much joy to her family and they kept the promise made to their father. Grasha would have a good education. Grasha worked hard at school and as a teenager, she received a gift that would change her life. It was a scholarship to attend a rich city school. She dreamed of becoming a teacher and using her education to educate others. She wanted the children of her beloved Mozambique to know reading and learning. She dreamed of a time when all children would go to school. Grasha did her best in that city school and years later she was blessed again. It was another scholarship to attend a university in far away Portugal. She met new friends, learned new languages and read a bounty of books. She realized her dream of becoming a teacher. And this made Grasha very happy. There was only one thing that still made her sad. Back at home, people were still not free. But now, Grasha had an education, skills and hope. She also had friends who felt as she did about the children's right to learn. She would use her knowledge and work with her friends. Together, they would bring change to Mozambique. Finally, with the help of all her friends, Mozambique was free. The man chosen to lead the country was Grasha's special friend, Samora Marshall. They fell in love and got married. Grasha was given the important job of making sure that all children in Mozambique got a good education. It was a hard job because there were so many children in Mozambique who couldn't read. She knew that they needed education and she wanted to make real change in her country. She started with primary schools, getting boys and girls into classrooms. She focused on literacy and putting books into children's hands. Grasha and Samora had two children. They shared a dream to create good lives for their own family and for the Mozambican people. They were happy and hopeful. Then one terrible day, Samora died in an aeroplane crash. Grasha mourned Samora for many years, but she found love again. She met a man who had also spent his life dreaming of bringing freedom, hope, and education to his people. Grasha married Nelson Mandela, and together they worked to help Africa's children. 
The inspiring story of Grasa Marshall continues. Her dream to instill a love of reading and learning in the children of Mozambique, South Africa and the rest of Africa is alive and growing every day. Read by Sandiwe Magona.